For Sunday and Monday, I want to talk with you about God's joy. Perhaps there's no greater thing to be discovered and experienced at Christmas time. And I pray that you experience this fully. It has been said where the soul is full of peace and joy. Outward surroundings and circumstances are of comparatively little account. See, Christmas and the experience of Christmas is an inside job. It is something to be felt inside of your soul, and then it shines forth from you for others to enjoy. In John 17, verse 13, it says, I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world so that they may have my joy completed in them. Isn't that what we want? We don't want partial joy. We want completed joy. And I pray that you have completed joy this Christmas. God intends for you to share in God's joy, to share in it, to be a part of it. Yet, Sometimes, even at Christmas time, amid the hustle and bustle of the busyness of last minute shopping, we sometimes forfeit, even if only temporarily, the joy of God as we wrestle with the challenges of daily life. When God promises that you can experience God's abundance and God's peace, do you believe God? Well, I ask you to. You should. After all, God keeps every one of his promises, and there are no exceptions to this. Here is a prescription for better spiritual health. Number one, learn to trust in God. Number two, open the door of your soul to God. Number three, Expect to experience God's joy. Expect it. Number four, treat this day and every day as a priceless opportunity and a cause for celebration. When you do, God will give you the peace and joy that God has promised. I pray for you and your family and your friends that you have joy in you this Christmas. And it is joy that you share in with God. I pray that you take it on yourself and wear it for all to feel and experience when they're in your presence. And I pray that your Christmas is truly blessed with God's joy complete.